What's up everybody and welcome to the very first video of our new channel, The Unhealthy Alliance. My name is Jay and I'm joined here by my bro and Mike. How's it going out there everybody? You boy, and today we are playing <laughs> Dragon's Crown. This is one we've been waiting for for a while, huh man? Yeah, we've been on the bandwagon for fuck, at least a year and some change, man. We've been really waiting a lot for this one. Yeah, this is a game uh, that's been... It's kind of been planned for a long time. Vanillaware is the developer of this game. They initially uh, uh, started planning this thing out way back in 1998. Wait, really? I didn't even know that shit. Oh, yeah, dude. Really? It's one of the main things that uh, led to the formation of Vanillaware. They were uh, originally mostly made up of an internal team from uh, Atlas Japan. They made a game called Princess Crown, and uh, I guess they gelled, so they wanted to, you know... Holy strike fuck. it out on their own. So they just broke off and did, did their own thing? Yeah, they did their own thing. It took them a while. They couldn't get it going, but uh, sure, sure. they finally got it, and here it is. And, oh, uh, shit. I, didn't, and I had no idea the, the journey was that long for this game. I had yeah, no I'll, yeah, I mean, I'll show like a screenshot right here. They have uh, development artwork way back from like 1998. It's it's crazy to think. Oh, shit. Now that's, that, that's definitely what you would call a passion project if they went on that long. Exactly. I mean, you and I, we've seen the art book. If you read the foreword, uh, oh, yeah. describe it as exactly that. And Yeah, yeah. It's a good, good, great art book, too. It's really cool. A lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, unfortunately, it's for pre-orders only, so if you missed it, you're going to have to pick it up on eBay or something, or Wild <laughs> Hands. Yeah, but tough shit. <laughs> here we are at the title screen now. Yep. Unfortunately... We've both planned to play this together right from the start, but... Uh... Oh, yeah, so let's, let's get into uh, <laughs> the brilliant and ahead of its time uh, online system we got here. Yeah, and unfortunately, uh... unfortunately, the game developers had other plans, so... <clears throat> yeah. You actually have to play quite a bit of it offline uh, first. I think you can do local co-op, but you know, Mike and I, we aren't in the same room today. No, 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 no. Not, unfortunately. Yep. So, what we're going to have to do is uh, we'll just both play our respective single players and we'll try and keep pace with each other so we can kind of, you know, see the same sights at the same time. Yeah, and then eventually we'll be able to link up and uh, actually get the real ball rolling. Yeah, uh, that, that'll be fun once it happens. Yeah, I just, when it for, the, for the life of me, I cannot understand why they thought it would be a good idea to do it this way. I have no clue. I guess it's for people that like to play random games, that way... <clears throat> That way, no, you know, random idiots that don't know the controls can join other people's games and mess it up. Uh, they well, force you through the tutorial before you can play around. Right, right, that's true. But here we are right now. I'm actually uh, just on the create a character screen, so I'm showing the uh, artwork of all the characters right this. here. We've got uh, going clockwise. We've got the fighter, who's recommended for all players. The Sorceress, who's it go. says is recommended for expert players. That'll be you. That'll be me. Yep, I'll be it's taking time. the Sorceress. And then we've got the Wizard, another expert player. The Dwarf, who Walmart it says break. is recommended for normal players. Then there's the Elf, okay. who has a very, uh, very odd voice. That voice does not match her at all. <laughs> I, I thought that myself when yeah, I first saw that, that it. Yeah, it sounds like some kind of perky little teenage girl, but her... Like, yeah. look, at looking at her face when she's sipping the sale, she seems kind of subdued and chilled out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I understand. It's very uh, polar opposite to what I would think. Yeah, so she's also recommended for expert players. And finally, the Amazon oh, that Mike's nice. going to be taking for a spin. Oh, recommended yeah. for normal players, and uh, she looks like she'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's a good way to put it, actually. We'll go with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, we've got, uh, gives you a pre-selected name, randomizes it every time you go in here, but you can edit it to whatever you want. We've got different color palettes. Also, you said there's something about, uh, you, you can uh, upload or put in your own custom, um, I guess, sayings, right, that the character will eventually give out. Yeah, right below it, you've got the option for English or Japanese voices, and then you've got four message options here. A greeting, a selection, a resurrection, and a dying message. That is pretty cool. I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. I'll, uh, I'll uh, edit that stuff later, but uh, I kind of want to get started. Yeah, I don't so blame you. I'm just going to name my character. Okay. Um, or Luna, why not? 
I'm naming mine as well. I'm going to... The Amazon, I'm going to name her... Erzabet, who is, uh, of course, named after Elizabeth Bathory, the most infamous female serial killer of the old days. So why not? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's fitting. It's, it was a medieval uh, time. Why not? I don't think she was a stacked Amazon, but hey, what no, else works, it, man? Y- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta stay creative, man. That's what's important here. Well, then. All right. Let's go with that. You seated yourself. Whoa. And called for a stein of the finest mead. Your partner, Alrighty. Rani, Going with the uh, ash blonde uh, color. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I've selected my character, and I am moving on. All right. I'll go ahead and do the same here. I'll come back and do the messages some other time. Yeah. I don't think they'll even matter until we're online. Exactly. Okay. Um, oh, um, you might want to point out the thing about the options too, the controls, because this is, yeah. Fuck! <laughs> Did you forget to do it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. By default, this game uh, makes you move around with the analog stick and select items with the uh, D-pad. Normally, that would be a great option yeah. for most other games, but this one... The combat almost plays out kind of like a fighter, and you, you really want the D-pad instead of the analog sticks. Especially so, for yeah, a side-scrolling beat 'em up. Who the hell would want to use analog? I mean, it makes no sense. Yeah. Really so doesn't. I'm going to have to play through the tutorial with the analog stick like an idiot. When things are lively. All right. Hold on. Before you do that, let me go and start and change mine since I can still do that. Fuck you. <laughs> Hurry up and do it. I'm moving along without you. You were an adventurer. Don't be mad, just bro. Just starting out. Fuck you. And didn't know right from left. It was then that you first yeah. met. All right, here's, let's go, here's a bet. Let's show them how it's done. Here we go. All right, we've met Ranny, and I am at the basic tutorial. And it's just going to walk me through the very utmost basic of basic stuff. Oh, yeah. There you go. Whoa! Starting as well. I have to say, even though this is still the tutorial, we haven't really gotten to the actual game yet. This fucking thing is stunning, man, I have to say. Really. Yeah, the artwork is gorgeous. Like, no, it is, everything. It is. Look at the backgrounds and everything. I know, there's so All much this like, is nice. texture and, and everything else. It's great. It reminds me of, uh, well, I bring it up a lot, because it's one of my favorite games of all time, but, um, Saga Frontier 2, the RPG. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of watercolor, actual watercolor artwork in that, and this reminds me a lot of that, so it gives, it gives a lot of big points for me right off the bat. Yeah, this, this game, this entire thing looks like a, a water painting, almost. It's, it's yeah. just so fluid. Yeah, it is. It's not like old sprites where everything would just pixelate and popped out at you. Everything blends into each other. Yeah, it's pretty seamless, really. It is. Hmm? Oh, it looks like you can actually double jump, or at least sorceress can. Yeah, no, I can as well. I just Here tried it out. And oh man, that view is. <laughs> Hell of a view, I'll just say that. Oh boy. I don't even want to know yet. <laughs> Wait until you see my character run. <laughs> That's all I can say, dude. I know, yeah, I can only imagine. Huh. Uh, the tutorial is very basic, it seems. There's nothing more than just basic movements that it's teaching us. Yeah, yeah that's stuff that you would normally uh, accomplish with an instruction manual, but nobody seems to use those anymore. No, I can't. <laughs> those things have really faded out. No one actually reads them anymore. Yeah. I think this one actually came with one, but I didn't bother to look. You know what? I, I did. I looked through it. It looked pretty nice. I mean, just the layout of the instruction manual was pretty good. So I just would be a through it real quick. Oh, nice. Not bad. It's not bad. I, I just went straight for the art art book because that thing was just. Well, yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah, it is. I can't believe they did that for free. That is seriously cool. 
Let's see. Whoa. That power smash is neat. Looks like I've got two types of magic with the sorceress, which is pretty interesting. Huh. Uh, so I've got I don't know where you are, but I've got a rogue here that can open up chests and stuff. That's pretty cool. I haven't got there quite yet. Um Whoa, that is a big orc. Oh wow, neat. <laughs> Holy shit, this is so wild. And then I can jack people with weapons and use them against them. Yeah. That is sweet. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. Man, I run out of mana quick. I'm gonna have to be careful. Oh, <laughs> I can't spam attacks. Ah, uh, I guess we'll find a way around that. Experts. Yeah, I guess. Ace yourself. <laughs> I'm done the basic tutorial. Since that point, you've been journeying under mutually beneficial terms. You handle combat, and Rani handles locks. All right, I'm done the tutorial. I'm back in the tavern now, so I can start exploring the world, and oh, I can save my game finally. Nice. All right, move to the next stage. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, this thing said it was on difficulty normal. It didn't give me an option to change the difficulty that I remember. Hmm. Maybe you have to unlock that. <laughs> yeah, along with everything else. <laughs> Pretty much. Shit, you might be right. Alright. Well, I finally fixed my controls, so I should not look as uh, big of a dumbass as I've probably been. Nice. Man, I, one thing I can say about uh, you came there's a bet here. As an I hate to see her go, like but I love to watch her leave. If you know what I mean? To challenge the dangerous <laughs> man, dude. That's a fucked up fetish you got. Most were lucky to even have their bones. Oh wait, I got a. Yeah, I think I got that guy you were talking about. You, you just ran out. Currently belong yeah. to the guild. I am out in the town registry. right now. This is gorgeous. And learn I skills. I'll be right there soon mm. enough. Town people. Okay, I'm going to the Adventurers Guild. Clad in full armor, the Guildmaster, Samuel Joseph, stands in the center of the Guild Hall like a statue. He appraises you with a look and dismissively states that only worthless adventurers leave their equipment. Damn. In disrepair. You know what's funny? I'll just say this right now. Uh, I'm still in the. I'm still in the just the full intro here, and uh, I'm getting more out of this than like any other major the guild master game, a studio game. Item shop. Mm -hmm. And I haven't even really played the fucking thing yet. It's just the atmosphere that we're seeing here. It creates yeah. something special. It's rare, man. It, yeah, you don't get a great deal of that anymore, to be honest. To be deemed worthy by the Adventurer's Guild, you must first repair your broken equipment. Okay, well, I've got to go get my equipment repaired, so the uh, Guildmaster seems... Guildmaster seems to think I'm unworthy, because my uh, equipment's all busted up, so i got to get that repaired first. So, how about this? I'll uh, take a quick break, we'll let you catch up to where I am, and uh, we'll be back with part two of our Dragon's Crown playthrough. Sounds good to me. Let's right. do it. We'll see you guys again soon. See ya.